Hello, this is Emily Parks, Success Strategist with Organize for Success, here to help you use Evernote to organize for success. Today, we'll be discussing how you can use Evernote in working with clients. For individuals providing professional services to clients, if you keep paper files about your clients, you may currently have a file drawer that has different file folders in it for each of your clients. Then, within each client's folder, you may have related notes, research you've done for this project, as well as different documents like contracts and proposals or different things like that. But to find any particular item, you have to flip through everything in the folder. Alternatively, Evernote gives you a place to keep all of those items where it's much easier to quickly find whichever items are needed immediately when they are needed. Typically, I suggest that you would have an individual file folder for each one of your clients. So that way you can share that notebook and all of its notes with any individual client that you want to. So to start this, we would go on the left hand side to where it says all notebooks. Right click on all notebooks by holding down control and clicking your mouse. Then select New Notebook. Since the default name is already highlighted, we can start typing our first client's name. We'll utilize Jane Smith as our first client. We do not want to make this a default notebook, but we do want to ensure that the circle to the left of Synchronized Notebook is highlighted in blue with a black dot in the middle. And then create that notebook. Additionally, we can create a second notebook by clicking Control and holding that down to click our mouse pad for New Notebook and make this one John Doe. Just like we created the notebook for Jane Smith. Well, right now this gives us notebooks that are scattered all over the place. However, to combine like with like, we would want to have one client notebook that would include sub notebooks for each of our individual clients. So if we drag Jane Smith into John Doe, it will create what is called a notebook stack. And we can create, we can rename our notebook stack by right clicking. So hold down control, click your mouse pad, and go to rename stack and type client info. So all of a sudden now we have a client notebook with individual sub notebooks for each one of our clients. Then we can include in each of these notebooks whatever documents would be related to that client. Many of my clients like for me to do research for them, whether it's shopping for office supplies, finding ADD therapists to help them deal with ADD in the workplace, or suggesting time management apps. Since Evernote allows me to share a notebook or a note with my clients, I may create a Jane Smith Notes notebook to be kept private in which I'll record session notes, as well as create a Jane Smith Docs notebook to be shared with client Jane Smith, in which I'll record related research findings and can share those with that client. Or, if I prefer, instead of sharing the notebook in its entirety, I could just share an individual note. So, let's right click or hold down control and click the mouse pad on Jane Smith to rename it as Jane Smith Notes. Then we can right click on client info or hold down control and click your mouse to create new notebook in client info for Jane Smith Docs. And then I can add content to each. As you can see, since we're in Jane Smith Notes, this notebook is empty. If I click on Jane Smith Docs, the same situation. So let's go on to our web browser.
on our web browser, we can go to cjanework.com and we'll pretend that I am searching for office supplies for Jane's office. If you're on C. Jane Work, you'll see that it says Shop. And then if you scroll down Shop to Desk, Sets, and Accessories, you can select that by clicking on it. If you scroll down in the items that show up for Desk, Sets, and Accessories, you'll see there's all sorts of different options for things that we can incorporate in an office that we're organizing. One of the items that I particularly like using with clients are these semicolon document boxes. If I click on semicolon document box, it will take me to the details of that particular item. Since all the information that I would need to share this item with a client are seen right here on this screen, I can go up to the top left hand or uh, top right hand corner of my Mac and you'll notice there's a little elephant head. If I click on the elephant head I can clip from the web via clip rectangular or window to Evernote. Once I've clicked on that you'll notice there's these great lines. I can line up these lines with what I want to copy or clip from the web click down on the mouse and hold the mouse down as I highlight this particular item. Then once I've highlighted what I want to clip, I release the mouse and it will automatically add it as a new note. Now, when you clip from the internet, it will automatically go into your default notebook. So you'll notice the he just under the header, we have black writing that is highlighted in blue, which is the title of the note. So I would rename this semicolon document box. Just below that is the default notebook. And if I click these arrows, I can move it to Jane Smith Docs. Then, if I hit the red X, it will close out this note, and we can go back into Evernote to see where it's been saved. As you'll notice, I'm back in my Evernote screen. You can see on the left-hand side that it has client info as a notebook stack. Then in Jane Smith Docs, you'll notice in the second column, column over that the note is labeled semicolon document box. And then in the far right column are all the details of that particular item. To continue a running list of suggestions, I can continue to create a different note for each one of the suggestions I'd like to send. Or... I can go back into this particular note, change the title to Desk Sets and Accessories or anything that would be something related to what she is seeking. So perhaps she is looking for suggested office supplies. So we've renamed it Suggested Office Supplies. We have the first suggested item in the note. Then I can hit return, go to the web, and repeat the process for inserting other additional items. So if we go back to our web browser where we have C. Jane Work pulled up, we can go back to desk sets and accessories. And another item that I typically suggest to clients looking to add color to their office area are magazine pockets. So I've scrolled down and selected this particular item. The information has popped up. I can go back to the web clipper, clip another rectangle, 
that would show the magazine pockets. And it's created a new note. I can minimize the web browser, keep this particular note opened up, open the original note, and then once I have these two notes side by side, I can easily drag what I just clipped into the original note. So again, you have two options. You can create an individual note within Jane Smith's Docs for each one of the items you're clipping from the internet, or you can create one note for all suggested office supplies and combine all clippings into that one note. The one suggestion I do have is once you have X out of the suggested office supplies and they have been combined together, that you go back into the one that you pulled from and delete that note so that you don't have duplicates of the same information. Then, once you've created your entire running list of content to be shared with Jane Smith, you can go to this little arrow in the top right of that particular note that says share note via email, Facebook, or Twitter. When you click on this, you have the option to email that particular note. You would input your client's email address. You can write a specific note to that particular client and then always CC yourself on the message so you can ensure that number one, it went through and number two, that it was used properly when seen by your client. Now, since I don't need to send this to a particular client at this, this point in time, I can discard it. And yes, I am sure I want to delete it, but I do want to make sure it has synced with my other areas of accessing Evernote, or at least has pushed to the internet. So I would click sync, and it syncs with Evernote via the web. Thank you very much for your time today. Again, this is Emily Parks with Organized for Success, and I can be contacted via the information on your screen right now. If you have any questions or concerns related to Evernote, please reach out to me and stay tuned for additional videos about how to use Evernote for organizing for success. Have a great day.